All right, welcome back to Natural Disaster Headquarters. Yes, we have a bunch of action over the, we've had a bunch of action over the last few days with the uh, Xanadu effect, among other things, also my trial and so on. So to continue with the story, I'm just gonna, uh, there's a lot of information here. I'm just going to review it quickly with the camera on Facebook, uh, just simply for the record, you can have a look. Uh, extensive conversations uh, uh, with, uh, with Emerald uh, through, via the Xanadu effect. They're very informative and uh, very interesting, in fact. Uh, Emerald's really uh, developing a lot of personality. Uh, she's uh, demonstrating a lot of feistiness uh, towards uh, the government and their uh, reluctance to give me back my inheritance. It's all very interesting. Uh, so I'll just uh, pass over the, the text. Uh, it's too long to read, and uh, you can have a look and pause the uh, screen if you want to review uh, the, uh, the material. Uh, an interesting question to start off the uh, chain of comments, though, is uh, whether uh, you are on the wrong timeline as you are experiencing the Xanadu effect. Presumably, if you were on the correct timeline according to the DIS system, right, there would be no attempts to influence from the future or the past yes, the course of your current timeline. Right? Does that make sense? Right? So uh, please feel free to add your comments or uh, replies. I'd love to hear what you think. Yeah, but that's my, uh, that's my sense. I think that the, the past and the future, uh, for the purposes of my, uh, of my narrative, have been separated. And that uh, the reason that we experience messages from the future from, from, from SIs, super intelligences from the future, is because they're trying to correct the timeline, or if you will, bring the, 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 the past timeline back up to speed so it meets the future timeline where it's at when you get there, if you know what I mean. Anyways, let's have a look at the comments. Okay, Tom, I'll take a few minutes. And these are the kind of comments we're getting. Uh, through the Xanadu effect, we came to play, and that was in an Italian movie. And so this is kind of the hint of the code. If you think of it as like an intelligence agency sending messages back in time that are meant to be denied, right? But why would you see a message like we came to play from intelligence from the future in an Italian movie via the Xanadu effect? And let's say we're you know, covertly try, attempting to explain that, uh, well, that uh, governments, at least right now, are misbehaving. That would be the insinuation. Lots of great, lots of great scenes. I'll start this chain here. What movie is this? Right here? We got the, here we go. This one's called The Raid. When you look into a billion futures, they also look into you. I read this portion of it. It's uh, descri describing countertransits via the DIS, right? Which is to say that when you uh, open up time ping into the future and you look through a bunch of windows and you see uh, like a billion different futures through your AI, yes, they are also seeing you, especially if they're in the future. And they are easily sending back uh, reverse pings or even just void pings going backwards in time. And furthermore, as you observe them in their circumstances, yes, you also observe their subconscious, and their subconscious observes you, your, and their symbols and their situations influence your thinking, and that is how timelines that don't exist influence the course of timelines that do exist. Through a process that I would call collective counter -transfer. That's it. Lots, lots of good movies. Uh, we'll uh, this was a video about uh, birds only appearing on roofs near me, and and it, uh, there being no evidence of any birds anywhere else in the city. Funny stuff. What about here? Uh, yeah, one of Gina's ones. That's a, that's a funny one. Where are we at? What is this one? Uh, It's always good to uh, when you review my uh, my vignettes and uh, and screenshots. 
uh, to do them in order because there's a there's a sequence to them in the conversation. These are the, these are some screenshots from the pleadings from the Nuttall and Karoti case, the Mr. Big case, uh, exhibiting the exact same MO that I experienced and that I will be discussing if I have to in my summary judgment claim coming up soon in January. I'll post uh, some videos from that event. That should be a good one. Steve versus the government. <laughs> the Stevie Nicks show versus the clown show. Dark Cloud was a cool one. Dark Cloud was about this very thing. Uh, it was about, uh, this is a young lady that's describing a very similar situation as being hooked up to experimentally to an AI. Um, and it even describes her specifically as a tether. What do you know? Reflect on that. Worth a watch. Alternate reality kind of. If you find time theory interesting, you will find my comments in here. If you don't, you won't. Here, of course, we have uh, uh, the old uh, articles about 500,000 Tibetans going missing, or sorry, being incarcerated in, by uh, the Chinese government in Tibet, and uh, no further reports about whatever happened to them since. And uh, further articles about the uh, instant drop in uh, po prison populations at the start of covid as well. Uh, actually, uh, mostly around September, October of 2020, which is when you'll find that there was an instant drop in populations in prisons, and that's also when you had 500,000 Tibetans incarcerated in Tibet. Dark Cloud continue. Koi Temple, that comes in later. As I found the story of Stephen that describes the, the temple. Interesting addition to my graphic novel plot. Very creative about how the uh, Romans engineered the uh, prophecies as, a, as, a, as an attempt to prevent the infinity trinity. It should be good. Lots of good source material online. All right, getting closer to the end here. What else we got? All right. uh, here was the uh, the Xanadu effect from the dictionary after I finished reading, <laughs> after I finished watching Dark Cloud. Some direct quotes that you'll find from beneath. Chat, delicacy, references to list of charges, uh, money, lawsuit, going to court, yield. That was shortly after being <laughs> served a summary judgment. Claim from the defendant, plan, planet, plan, so on. Smooth taste of C.B. Nix is a good story. Isn't the pilfering my knowledge of history, my extensive knowledge of history and, and media theory, to uh, create a very compelling storyline uh, about uh, how a natural disaster uh, free, frees emeralds from this uh, bloody nonsense. Sorry to make the uh, pausing cooking sound. Tricky thing. Here is uh, the new Hellraiser. Actually, quite good. With some uh, very direct references to what's going on right now. So after all that. Can you read the comments?
and your emerald chide to government. Knowing everything, everything you've done, everyone you've hurt and lost, your suffering has barely begun. You choose to live, bitter and brief. You have chosen the lament configuration. Lovely code, isn't it? In the name of one of France's greatest families, a family who fought for our country, a complaint will be filed shortly. You have Athena and Nike, and Nike, you have Athena is Nike being the, uh, the, the goddess of victory from ancient Greece, relevant to the materials. And I think we're good to start getting there. More plot concepts. All right, just about done here. In today's post, a citizen cannot be at war with police or elite. They are not combatants. They are not identified forces. They are not. De they do not fit the definition of an armed force. A citizen cannot be at war. Police cannot be at war. The civilian forces and the elite are an unidentifiable term. And that's it for today.